We are talking American Pacific Mining today. It's USGD on the CSE in Canada, USGDF on the OTCQX in uh, the States here. And I've got Warwick Smith, the CEO here. And uh, Warwick, it's been a while here. So uh, I guess uh, the news kind of caught up with us here. So uh, we, we could start uh, any number of places here, but I know the I know you got something front and center here. You, you told me you, you look a little frazzled. I don't <laughs> think so. I think you look good. I guess we'll start with the Constantine news. How's things going there? I appreciate that. That's a uh, that's kind of you to say. I feel frazzled, but a uh, but good. Look, uh, as as I was saying as we were chatting before, it's always a challenge trying to put these transactions together. Um, but this is a big one for us. Uh, getting the getting the Constantine transaction done uh, gives us most importantly the Palmer asset, uh, which is up in Alaska. Uh, it's got a PEA on it. It's a the VMS deposit. It's over fourteen million tons. Uh, your medium-sized VMS is 5 million tons, so this is almost three times the size of that already. And it hasn't been drilled in years. Constantine hasn't had capital or access to capital, uh, which is two things that American Pacific has. Uh, we've got over $10 million in cash. We've got great shareholders backing us. So we've got access to more capital. We'll aggressively drill this. Uh, it's got a world-class partner uh, in Doha Mining and Metals, who own the largest smelter out of Japan, who are pushing this forward towards production. Uh, and you know now we'll come in and they... Uh, and look to explore this aggressively and look to make it a lot larger than the 14 million tons that it is today. Yeah. So uh, I guess, uh, yeah, well, walk us through, uh, you laid out, I guess, the the, the groundwork here, but, but the layout of, if to investors uh, just coming back here for maybe a little vacation here. Um, yeah. What can they look forward to there? And then we'll, then we'll talk about uh, down here in the lower 48. Yeah, absolutely. Look, Palmer's a world-class asset today. Uh, but we believe it can get significantly larger. So it's under partnership with Doha Mining and Metals. Doha is spending 18.8 million US this summer on the project, driving it towards production. It's got a PEA on it. Uh, they will get a drift, start driving a drift in next year. Uh, that'll make it a 365 a day year project. Uh, it was a four month a year project before that. So it's a big transition, uh, which is great for us because that's year round news flow. It's got 15 showings of VMS and only four of those showings are in the PEA and only three of them have drill holes outside of that. So there's lots of targets to go at, uh, which is what we'll do. Uh, we'll come in, we'll fund, uh, and we'll look to push the exploration ahead. Significant news coming on that. There's two drills turning as we speak. Uh, it's a big program. 18 million US is, is certainly a, a large program. So there's a lot happening up there. Once we close the transaction, which I hope will be that first week of November, uh, then we'll have certainly a lot to say uh, as to what's going on up there. Uh, and, you know, it, it dovetails nicely with, with everything that's going on with American Pacific. You know, here we are now with a PA asset in Alaska, partnered with DOA. Uh, we're down in Montana, partnered with Rio Tinto. Uh, and we've got seven other projects in the lower 48 as well. So certainly a lot to keep us busy with two real lead flagship assets that are already under partnerships that are being driven forward, which is uh, a strong place to be. Yeah, that was my uh, my next visit there. Is uh, down south here in Montana here. Uh, uh, finally, the, the forty three one hundred one there in the Madison. So uh, yeah, run through the highlights of that one. Look, you know, it, we love that asset. Um, we've got a great partner in Rio Tinto. Uh, so yes, we've just filed an updated forty three one hundred one, which is a culmination of all the work that's been done on the project. Um, it's a high grade scar and surface with a porphyry underneath. Uh, Rio has just sent down a scar and expert. Uh, so we'll have a press release out on that in short order, which we're excited to release the findings of that. Um, so that's coming up here shortly. Uh, and then Rio is going to get back to work uh, under the guise of what the SCAR and expert has seen. So we're very excited to get a press release out on that in, in really short order. That's a great asset, incredibly high grade, has the opportunity to be big. Rio Tinto, the second largest mining company in the world, isn't there looking for something small. Um, that much we can assure you. Uh, so we're, we're certainly excited to get a press release out talking about targeting going forward. Yeah. Um, pay attention for that one, I guess. Uh, yeah. Let's move on to, uh, to down there in Elko at the uh, at Tuscarora, I guess, if I, if I said that, pronounce that right here. I know uh, uh, you had some data going there a few months back. We never caught up on. So let's uh, update them on them. Absolutely. Yeah. So just busy drilling down at Tuscarora. Uh, got about 25 holes done there. We'll have a press release out on that in short order as well. Um, we're also going to start drilling over at Gooseberry, which is the project just outside of Reno. Um, we just put out a 43-101 on that as well. Uh, so those are the two assets that have been keeping American Pacific busiest uh, on our own. Uh, and then we're bringing on all these other projects through the through the Constantine transaction. 
which quite honestly, we're just taking our time to go through now. Um, Palmer is obviously the key focus. Uh, Palmer and Madison are going to be the key focus of the company as we drive forward uh, with those two big assets, both with partnerships. We're, we're super excited about those. The other assets, Tuscarora and Gooseberry, we'll drive forward on those. And as we make decisions on those other projects, then we'll either bring in partners uh, or we'll look to push those forward ourselves. But we haven't made decisions on those ones yet. Yeah, I guess uh, let's... Uh... Let's uh, consolidate a message here. Uh, you paint a picture of being a very busy company uh, for, for investors who uh, are trying to look for a new opportunity here. I've said this is probably the best buying opportunity you're ever going to get. Well, you just put a whole bunch of reasons on there. So I guess consolidate a message for an investor who's looking to get involved here. No, I appreciate that. Look, I think if you're looking at junior mining companies, it's good to look at ones uh, that already have majors involved. Before a major spends a dollar, they want to both, they do the due diligence terms of knowing that they think they can find it. And if they find it, that they can permit it and put it into production. Well, you've got two of those in this case, where you've got Doa Mining and Metals up in Alaska, and you've got Rio Tinto down in Montana. They've done a lot of the due diligence for you in terms of the project itself. Then you want to know that the company has cash. We've got about $10 million in cash. And then we've got optionality and all these other projects that we can drive forward ourselves. So yes, it's a busy company, but also well cashed up as well. Significant news flow coming, uh, putting out a couple of press releases every week, it feels like right now. So good and busy and getting after it. So, you know, certainly, uh, certainly excited for the year ahead. Yeah, well, we'll look forward to keeping around the wire for you. So Warwick Smith, he's CEO, American Pacific Mining, USGD on the CSE in Canada, USGDF, OTCQX in the States. And Warwick, can appreciate the update. And then we'll certainly look forward to checking back in when you hit the wire again. Appreciate you. Thanks so much.